I wanted to make a video talking about why I love One Piece so much. And really what One Piece means to me. Hold on, let me take off my glasses. You have a light reflecting onto my camera. No, but uh, I want to talk about what One Piece means to me as a series. Now, first of all, I need to give you guys some backstory. Um, I'll show you. I have a tumor. In case you guys can see, I have a tumor. So I look different. I, I look differently, and at my old school, that I had a lot of trouble making friends. I got, I'm going to a better school now, but I had a lot of trouble. I had a lot of trouble making friends. You know, a lot of people. I, I was that weird guy. Like I went to school. I went to school with a Luffy shirt on. Like I had no problem with it. I, lo I, 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 I love who I am. I had no problem with who I am. So I would go to school with the Luffy shirt on, and I'd be the guy who would like. Be like on his phone, or like go on my phone during lunch, read the latest Naruto chapter, and sometimes I would be like, holy shit! Like, I, I remember I was in school reading that, uh, 693 of Naruto. And I was like, holy crap! I don't know, I, I didn't actually go, holy crap, like, like that. So I was like, I like stared at my phone, and I like was like, yeah, 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 Naruto is not gay. Like, that was me. Alright, so I didn't have a lot of friends. I would, and, and I, nobody really wanted to, wanted to be my friend. I actually sat down at the table once and they said, you're annoying. And I said, how am I annoying? And they said, you, you're existent. You sitting at this table, whether even if you're doing nothing but sitting there quietly, you're still annoying. So I was like, well, fuck you guys. But yeah, it was depressing. I didn't really like, so I had no friends. And what happened was, I started watching One Piece, maybe like, when I was in maybe 8th grade, I'm in, I'm in 11th grade now, I probably started catching up then, I was a fan for like a year and a half and then I started YouTube, a year and a half, two years, then I started YouTube, but no, but I remember specifically, there was a point where I was really depressed and I was kind of like, why can't I make friends, like, should I even try? Then I got to the Annie's Lobby arc of One Piece. And I only tell people this. I mean, I have other reasons I love One Piece. But when I got to the Annie's Lobby arc and Saul had a quote. The quote is, Are nobody is born into this world to be alone. Come then you'll find friends. Paraphrasing, but that's pretty much the quote. Like, depending on where you watch it in the English dub, the official subs, fan subs, depending on how you watch it, it Depends on what the quote will be, but that is the quote. And I had family. I don't even know. I had family that loved me. I, I wasn't like alone, but I would go to school and I'd kind of be by myself all day. Besides, for like occasionally talking to people in class, but that wasn't really because they were friends. They were more like because we're in school, we are not interested in the work, so we're just talking. The point is that I wasn't. We weren't really accomplishing any. I wasn't. I didn't have any friends. But then I started thinking that, and I was like, you know what? If I don't have friends now, I'll make friends. Eventually. It may take a long time, but I will make friends. I, 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 I had that opportunity. Everybody makes friends eventually. It may take ten, it may take five years, it may take six years. Those six years will suck, but you know what? I will make friends one day. I will make friends one day, I'll... I'll overcome this and I'll make friends. And, but I really did that because of that quote from Saul. Saul's not one of my favorite characters. Don't get me wrong. But Saul's the character I find that inspirational. Because I didn't have any friends. And I decided to listen to Saul. And that did get I looked at Robin. And I was like, see, for 20 years, Robin had no friends. No, fa no family. No one cared about her. But then she did make friends. It happened. And she didn't even need to try. Like, she wasn't actively sticking to make these friends. These were people who she just met, happened to be with, in the same place as, and they liked her for who she was. And I, and I started going to the new school I go to now. The school I go to now is actually a special ed school. I have learning disabilities, and it's a special ed school. And I started going there, and I started making friends. People... That I could, I could go in and if I read a manga chapter during lunch, nobody would care. 
Nobody would think it's the weird kid that reads Japanese cards, that reads Japanese comic books. Nobody cared. And that's the great thing. I, I, people accepted me for who I was. And that's really what One Piece means to me. It's one of the reasons that I would kind of like... It's one of the reasons I decided to try switching schools. I decided to try going to a new school. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. I can overcome this. I don't think I would have had the ball to just quit school and take that risk if it wasn't for One Piece. I don't know if I would have done it. I, I honestly, I don't know. And it also really taught me how much you should take, how much you should care about your friends. It did. It also taught me, it also, I've been a little bit more honest with my opinion since I started reading One Piece, but a little bit more blunt. Like, I used to not always want to say what I thought. I mean, I would always say what I thought, but I used to be less blunt about it. But I realized, I, I, I looked at the way Luffy would approach things, and I was like, that looks like a lot of fun. And I did it, and I loved it. Like, I, I, so now I can be incredibly blunt. Like, if you ask me a question, I'll normally give you an honest answer. I normally will. Depending on, like, if you're a girl, and you're, of course, if you're like a girl, and you're like, am I fat? I, and I'm not, I'm probably not going to say yes. And, and, and I'm not going to say, okay, you look, you look super fat. I'm not going to do that. I'll tell a little bit of a white lie. But in most cases, yeah, I mean, one thing just, it helps me overcome something. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. It has a meaning to me. And one but it's also a great story. I really appreciate it. I love the characters. But it helped me through something. And it helped me in, in more ways than just one. You know that? It's helped me realize really how important it is to take care of your friends, to help them. I've always taken care of my friends and everything, but it made me realize that you really you should always go above and beyond. You should, you should try as hard as you can to help your friends. And that's what I've always done. Like now I'm like, there have been a couple of times where I was late for class. I've been late for class before. Yeah, because I've you know, been helping friends or something, and I always say I was helping somebody. Like, I don't care. And I really, I do all that because One Piece, One Piece, especially the Straw Hats, are, are in a way an inspiration for me. And I know this video is like the biggest weeaboo shit ever, but I really wanted to share with you, we, this theory is more than just something, a cool story to me. It's something that holds meaning to me. And I was wondering if you guys could tell me maybe in the comments what One Piece means to you. Yeah, I, I like to believe that One Piece, because it covers stuff, deep subjects, like slavery, racism, and because of the subjects it covers and the kind of theory it is, I like to, I like to believe that the fan base, that everybody has their own reason for watching it beyond I like the story. I like to believe everybody had some moment had that one moment that made them say, this will always be my favorite anime and manga series, no matter what. This is my favorite series. And I love it. I love it. Like, you know, I was hoping that people could tell me what their reasons are for getting into One Piece and loving One Piece. But yeah, I'd love to hear your reason for loving One Piece and being into it in the comment section down below. But well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. And about to subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for more videos like this. And above all else, guys, have a great day. And the One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.